Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Boris Spassky and Bobby Fischer. This is a game from the Spassky Fischer World Chess Championship match played in Reykjavik in 1972 and this is the game from the round 13. Well, let's go straight to the position of our interest. This is the position at move 54. White played king to d2. It is black to move. The material is equal. For his sacrifice piece, black has three pawns. And we know that the power of the pawns increases in the endgame. White is in the control of the queen square. And the white king is on the way to block the pawns on the queen's side. White is also intending to push his h pawn and to create a pass pawn on the g file. It is black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Fischer played b4. Pass pawns must be pushed. h4. King to b5. h5. c4. If g takes on h5, then g6. Back to our game in this position we have c4, rook to a1, g takes on h5, g6, h4. The black pawn on the h file goes for his own glory. White to move. g7. If bishop takes on h4, then there is more than one way to go. One of the ways is rook to g8. Back to our game. In this position we have g7, h3, bishop to e7, rook to g8, and now bishop to f8, and Fischer's rook is trapped. But he has five pawns against the rook. Black to move, what would you do? Fischer played h2, king to c2, rook takes pawn on a2, has a tiny downside, pawn to h1, queen. Back to our game. King to c2. King to c6. The other way to go was f4. Fischer played king to c6. Rook to d1. So if rook takes on a2, then b3 check and black wins. And what else? If bishop takes on b4, then rook takes on g7, and after rook takes on a2, then pawn to h1, queen. And if in this position, bishop to c3, then rook to g1, and black wins. Back to our game. So in this position we have a rook to d1, b3 check, king to c3, it is black to move and Fischer wanted to play king to d5. King to b5 would be a more patient approach to deflect the rook. Fischer played pawn to h1 queen, rook takes a queen, king to d5, king to b2, f4, Rook to d1 check, king to e4, rook to c1, king to d3, rook to d1, king to e2, rook to c1, f3, bishop to c5. Let's take it back. If rook takes on c4, then one line goes like this. f2, rook to e4 check, king to f3, rook to e6, queen. Rook to f6, check, king to g2, rook takes queen, king takes rook, king takes on b3, pawn to a1, queen, and black wins back to our game. So, Spassky played bishop to c5, controlling f2 square, but this is freeing the rook. Rook takes on g7, rook takes on c4. Rook to d7, rook to e4 check, king to f1, bishop to d4, it is black to move, 
Black played a move in white resigned and the move is F2. Spassky resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Rook to F4. But then, Rook takes Bishop. Rook takes Rook. King to E2. Rook to E4 check. King to F3. Rook to E8. Pawn to F1 queen. Check. King to G2. Rook takes queen. King takes rook. King to A1. Not taking the pawn, of course. King to E2. King to B2. King to D2. King to A1. And black must be careful. King to D3. King to B2. Pawn to A1. Queen. Check. King takes queen. And now... Not king to c2 because of stalemate, but king to c3. And after king to b1, b2, king to a2, king to c2, king to a3, pawn to b1, queen, king to a4, queen to b6, king to a3, queen to b3, check, mate. Wow, what a thrilling endgame. And let's go back to move 54. This is the position. Black to move. Can you win with black pieces from this position? Please click on the link below the video and test your endgame skills against the Terminator. Good luck! And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.